Fish is the most commonly consumed meat in Thailand, and tilapia is the number one type of farm fish in the country. But do you know what happens to billions of these animals before they reach people's plates? Footage obtained by Synergia Animal and We Animals Media revealed the sad reality of large farms that supply big retailers. Fish are treated ruthlessly. The water in the ponds is visibly dirty, with fish living in unsanitary conditions. These animals are taken from the water and tossed into buckets or dropped onto the ground. Some are put into containers of ice while still alive. This slaughter method slows their metabolic rate, potentially prolonging their suffering before death for hours. Others are cruelly left out of the water and die slowly and painfully by suffocation. Smaller farms are problematic too. In this tilapia farm that supplies traditional markets, many fish had signs of disease and bacterial infection, such as bulging white eyes. Sick fish were left to die in the ponds where they were eaten by others. Tilapia are usually a herbivorous species, but here they are given meat in the form of fish meal. Fish meal is made from wild fish caught in the oceans. According to the FAO, the use of this type of feed in aquaculture contributes to overfishing and represents a significant threat to the ocean's biodiversity. But the struggle on the farms is not the end of the suffering for these animals. Fish are transported to markets alive, which often leads to further injury and many fish die en route to their destination. Here at Klong Toy, the largest wet market in Bangkok, live fish have their heads smashed with a cleaver. The same happens in Talad Thai, a market in the north of Bangkok where people buy products for resale and distribution throughout Thailand. Some fish remain conscious even after being cut open. Others are packed into plastic bags while still alive and struggling to breathe. Macro, one of Thailand's largest retailers, also sells fish in terrible conditions. Live tilapia are displayed for sale in crowded and murky tanks. Many of them appear injured and unhealthy. This fish, for example, was observed lying awkwardly on its side. Research has shown that fish do feel pain, fear, and stress, which strongly suggests they also have the capacity to suffer. It is time for our society to be kinder. It is time we stopped allowing and supporting the abuse of these sentient beings. The best way to fight animal abuse is to bring it to light. Please, make a donation today to make other exposés like this possible.